Scrappy Scrappy. Ready for dinner? I'm a little early. That was a weird meow. So he has a little bit of daylight left. Because I'm about, eh, I don't know, 40 minutes early instead of 30 minutes early. Okay, so I have the last of your super, no, no, it's the real chicken and tuna <clears throat> and uh, kibble. Okay, so you're gonna block the door again. Yeah. So yeah, I got your food. I don't know if you can smell it. Probably can. Cats are supposed to have a really good sense of smell. So tomorrow I'm probably gonna open the white fish. That one smells more. Yeah. It's kind of a chirpy meow. Yeah. Yeah, I think you want your food, right? Okay, I'm gonna inch towards the door here. Okay. Wait, food. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the chair here. Wait, your food? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna... Uh, uh -oh, coughing again. Okay, get the glove. <clears throat> and sit down. And okay. So it looks like he's ready for pets. I'm having kind of a another boring or grueling day. Just trying to get through the grind. Nothing terribly exciting happened today. <clears throat> it's mostly just trying to push through the day, get stuff done. Check the traps for gophers again. Yeah, no activity. So it might be possible. I've caught all the gophers for now. I'll keep the traps set just in case, but yeah. I'm not seeing any uh, new piles of dirt anywhere. And today I did go for another short run. So I'm trying to rebuild after not running for three and a half months or so. So this is my third short run. 
So I did one uh, three days ago, and, and then another one uh, two days before that. So this one I did a little bit better, definitely better than the first one. So the first one I was itching the whole way through. So I think they call it renter's itch. And <clears throat> yeah, it's really itchy all over my upper upper part of the body. It's kind of weird because uh, all the descriptions of renter itch are about your legs. And for me, it was everything but the legs. I guess my face wasn't itchy. But... But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, my shoulders and chest and stomach and back and <clears throat> arms, all itchy. So, t so the second run, I there's a slight urge to itch, but it was not too bad, and I don't think I actually had the scratch. Uh, today, yeah, it was even better. I think. Halfway through the first lap, it was like a very subtle, maybe urge, but it wasn't wasn't bad. I didn't actually have to itch, and then it kind of went away by the time I finished the first lap. I grabbed the glove there. I felt his dew claw go into the glove again, though. I can hear it too. It snapped on the glove. So, <clears throat> after I finished the first lap, I decided to try going a little bit further. So I went maybe a, another third. And then I started walking. And then I kind of alternated between uh, walking and uh, running. So it wasn't a full run, but. I'd run a bunch of different segments or legs, and uh, I ended up total distance. I did yeah three laps, but yeah, it was uh, alternating, you know, running and walking. So time-wise, it was pretty bad. It was basically on par with my slowest times when I first started running. Uh, a little over a year ago. Oops. I kind of jumped there. I think he was itching, and then when I pet him, he got distracted or something, and his tongue was sticking out. And his tongue's still sticking out. Plenty with your tongue sticking out. So, so on one hand, yeah, it's depressing that you know, my fitness level is now basically as bad as when I you know, first started over a year ago. <laughs> On the other hand, I don't think my fitness level is actually that bad. It's just I was kind of intentionally taking it easy. I probably could have done better. But I don't want to re-injure myself yet. Or I don't want to re-injure myself, period. So I'm going to make sure my legs or my hip or whatever is still okay. So I noticed after the run, I was feeling a little bit of stiffness and... So I have to keep an eye on it, make sure I didn't, don't do anything to re-aggravate the injury. Oops. Looks like he was a little alarmed there. Why he didn't scratch. 
I think he's purring. Sorry about food time here. Figures we just start purring now. I guess you want to keep petting, huh? You know, those are away to dinner, so he's probably not as hungry. I don't have any good for meals for him. That was probably a lot of food for him. I remember once I gave Scruffy a lot of extra food. Oh yeah, I think it was uh, when my freezer died. I was trying to not waste food that was, I didn't have the space to store and didn't have the time to eat because I gorged myself. And so I think uh, one I had a, I think it was ground pork, so sausage, sausage patties, patties basically. And I think I uh, prepared a bunch for Scruffy and I filled his bowl pretty high with food, and he didn't eat all of it. He actually left before finishing his bowl. So, I think that was the first and only time I actually hit a limit with him. I thought he'd just, you know, gorge himself until it was empty. I didn't think it was that much food. I actually think the gopher was more, but... I learned Scruffy does seem to have a limit. Okay, let's get the food. Oops. I'm still wasting a lot of time with the ice cubes. I'm really getting sick of it. <clears throat> so let's see. I did I see Scruffy today? Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm trying to remember when I saw him. So I think I looked for him on the rocks this morning, and I didn't see him. And I think I did see him later out in the open part of the deck. And I think he saw me, but I don't think I have my camera. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he I think looked at me briefly, and then he just kind of went back to sleep. And then I finally came out with his water, and yeah, he was behind the table, so I didn't notice him from inside, from the inside windows. But when I came out, yeah, he was kind of out in the open, and uh, he looked really groggy, so I didn't think he was going to come drink the water. Uh, but after I went in, probably. A minute after I went inside and closed up, and I was about to close the blinds, he actually did come around, and uh, he didn't drink the water. He actually just came to look at the door, I guess, look at the bowl, see what I left for him. And uh, but yeah, he didn't do anything. So I was uh, about to leave for my run, so I didn't didn't stay and film him, and I closed the blinds just. In, 
as a courtesy to him because uh, I didn't want him to think I was going to come back out and give him something or feed him or something. So at the park, let's see. Oh, I saw, yes, yeah, so and when I first started running, it's funny, there were probably about a dozen squirrels out in the middle of the field, and I was, I was coming by on the trail, one by one, each one would run from the field right in front of me across the path into the brush on the other side of the path, because I think that's where the majority of the squirrel holes are. And just as I was running down the path of the park, yeah, just squirrel after squirrel just kept happening. And yeah, there's probably about a dozen squirrels that did this to me. Guess there weren't that many people out, because it seems like yeah, they'd do that if uh do that before I, you know, get there if there are other people walking the path, but you know, for whatever reason, you know, they all they were all there and they all fled as I came by. If they were smart, they would, you know, not run in front of me, they'd wait or run behind me or something. But yeah, they were all rushing to try to cut me off. And then on the very opposite side of the park, I saw one of the twins and the twin did almost the exact same thing. So the twin was out in the field, saw me running, and then decided to run in front of me to get onto the other side. But in this case, it was uh, into the street. And so the cat ran into the street and then ran in the, somebody's uh, front yard or driveway or something. So, yeah, animals are weird. So, you yeah, know, not that close to them. So they could have just held their ground, and, or they could have run the other direction, you know, get even further away from me, but they all decide to cut in front of me, which actually gets them closer to me. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because if they ran the other direction, they get even further from me. So I think this may have been the other twin. I can't really tell them apart still, because I can't get a good look. But the reason I think it might be the other twin is because it uh, was much closer, or for, it was in, so there are like kind of two fields where they hang out, one on one field and then another, another section of the park. And I've been seeing mostly the cat in the other section of the park, so the fact that it was so far into the, the first field, which I haven't seen a cat in, uh, that one of the twins in for a long time. I'm thinking this might be uh, the other twin. Yeah, I didn't have my camera with me, so I didn't get any footage today. So he was going to be running. And I don't like the camera jostling in my part or in my pocket. And then at one point near where I entered the park, I saw a cat leaving. I think this was as I was uh, going to my second lap. And at first I thought just the, the silhouette of the cat, I thought might have been the friendly cat. Um, but I tried to get a good look at it. And I don't know if it was the shadows or the shade or you know just the sun, you know lack of sunlight, but it looked completely black, like you know, no coloring, no patterns. So it may not have been the friendly cat, and uh, I'm not aware of any pure black cats. Actually, no, I take that back. I think I did see a pure black cat uh, a week or two ago, kind of in that vicinity. But I was hanging out in, the, in people's yards. It wasn't at the park. 
but I guess it was close. You know, it was close enough that I could have been that cat. Almost out of fresh produce. I think I got one more day, uh, day's worth of food, and then I'm out. So I need to go shop uh, shopping probably tomorrow or the day after. Or I'm gonna have to eat something else, something packaged and or frozen. I also keep planning to go to Target and keep putting it off. So I want to get more of the sheer talking noodles. I ran out a month or two ago. And I've been kind of thinking, gee, I have to do uh, spaghetti again. But yeah, I've been mixing it in with the sheer talking noodles. Just try to deter myself from eating too many calories. And yeah, my local grocery stores haven't been able to find it in the local grocery stores. But Target seems to have it. At least sometimes. But I actually need to go there and I haven't been I haven't gone there. I'm also almost out of fluoride, so I need to buy fluoride. And Target seems to have the best price. I bought uh, I bought some from Amazon and I bought some from Walmart. But yeah, I found Target. If you actually go in the store, actually, I think even if you get it shipped, it's actually still a better deal. This is if you buy the you know, gen generic stuff, uh, no brand names. I think at one point the um, Amazon stuff was cheaper. But yeah, the price has gone up, and I think yeah, I don't think the Walmart stuff was ever cheaper. Ever cheaper. It's not a bad price, but yeah, it wasn't the cheapest. I think I, I bought the Walmart one. I think once or twice, just because I think either the other stores were out, um, or I needed to get something that qualified for free shipping and I needed for a ride. And the price difference was negligible enough that I'd rather, I, you know, rather pay it so I get the free shipping. Um, the other things I was trying to buy. So I think Scruffy wants me to move the balls. I mean, it's a messy eater. Put pate all over the place. I'll move the big ball here. See if it comes back to lift the bowl. He's behind the chair. There he is. If I run out of food, you know, it might give me an excuse to make tacos. I've been talking about it for a few weeks now. <laughs> Still haven't done it. So I kind of have pancakes in my brain now because I mentioned I passed the booth that was doing uh, selling pancakes or like mini pancakes that you like, decorate yourself or put toppings on or something. And, I haven't had a pancake in a long time, so that was also kind of going through my head to make some tasty too. I'm 
Okay, folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I don't think he's going to come back. Yep. Yeah, he's taking off. Okay, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.